Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I am going to put together a Billy's bookcase. It's a big tall bookcase with glass doors. Now it comes in two boxes. So if you go pick this up from Ikea, which that's where I got it from, you will need help carrying it to the corner. I already opened up the bookcase and I opened up the first box, box number one that is. So it was marked number one. So I figured, well, let me just open up the first box first. Now the one thing I wanna do before I start any project, I like to see what I'm working with. So what I'm going to do is unbox everything and all of the identical pieces, I'm going to put them together. So therefore, I can see what the job looks like. And this is a nice blue color. Like this color right here is really nice. I want to show you, show you this. I don't think I got the right light for you to see how blue that is. But this blue color is really... It's really nice. And that's why I got this. It's just gonna go on last. And here's the glass. Here is the glass, baby. And the instructions also. Oh man, this is is going to be nice y'all this, this off to the side I don't want this in the way for now and I got my instructions All right that's what this is so let's take a look at this this is what it's going to look like all right so here's my instructions I feel like I could probably put this together without the instructions, but you know what? I'm gonna go through the book. You guys won't have to do this part because you're gonna follow what I do if you have the same bookcase. But let's get this other box open. Okay. Other glass, other, other glass door. So this is what I decided to come up with. I'm going to thumb through the book and I'm going to show you guys what page I'm on, right? Just kind of showing you the image and what it want me to do. And I'll put it together from there. So just follow along, do what I do, and let's get this shelf, well, this bookcase built up. So starting off doing exactly what I saw on the page, laying those three boards out, and I'm going to stick the pegs in. I'm going to need all 16 of these. And they're going to go... See these boards? They're going to go on the outside, on the outside notches. So at this point, all I'm doing is sticking those pegs into the pre-drill holes. Now the pegs go into the outside holes, if you notice. So that's all I'm doing right now. So I got those, I got all of that in. So I'm gonna slide this over to the side because What I need next. Okay, we already did these shelves, right? Put the pegs in and we did that. Next, we're gonna, we laid this down. Now, if you look close, you see where the screws are positioned. All right? It's like toward the holes in the middle. If you look at it, it's like toward the holes in the middle. I already started on it. Let's go ahead. Going. And if you notice, you'll screw it down and it, it comes to a certain point where it, where it just stops. Let me show you. See, this comes to a certain point where it only go 
to this, you know, it only go down so far and it stops. So don't force it or screw past that point to where you could possibly strip it. So next we're moving over here. So these, so the boards that we put the pegs in it, it's telling us, let's use the unfinished side on both sides on this. And this is, you see this? You have to look. So that's the one right here on the right. So I need the unfinished side on this one in the middle. You know what else? See, I'm gonna need four of these. As you can see, I got them. So once again, I'm using that unfinished side. You see how the unfinished side is on the top and on the right side. I got those two flat boards laying down and with the position I got them laying down in, the unfinished side is, is on the top and on the right side. So at this point, I'm carefully sitting the wood on those pegs that I already drilled into the flat boards. Now the holes are pre-drilled, so just be extra careful sitting it on there so you won't bend or break or strip anything out. Now, before I put the bottom piece onto that flat board, I need to tighten everything up. So let's get those. I don't know what you technically call them, but I'm going to call them lock washers. So let's get the lock washers and, and tighten everything up. So let me show you that real quick. So we're going to take this. Just kind of stick it in there. And this is why we need the flathead. It'll go around till it basically stop. There's a certain position, a certain point on it where it, where it stops and it's tight. Now I can take this, this piece right here. See if you notice, if you put it on this way, you know, it's not quite up against this, meaning it will be a gap right here. So let's turn it this way. I believe it goes this way. So it kind of rests up against, against it, you know. There. Yeah, see, it's kind of resting up against it. And let's, let's get to our next step. So we did this, what was that, page nine? We're going. I'm gonna get this, this board right here. As you can see, it's still one with the peg in it and it's the unfinished side. And, and let's put it in. Let's take a good look at that. We're gonna set this. See the pegs. Just gotta line this up and be careful. And see, we're gonna come to the other side. We we just set this down here. Once again, put these in. Get it tight. So we took care of this this page real quick. Now we move into this page. Okay, so we're going to take the other half of it and lay it on top. You see? Let's take a look at the whole whole thing. 
we're gonna basically lay it on top we'll get some more of those um, I don't know what they are and we're gonna tighten it up so right now I'm going to take the other half of the bookcase and sit it on top of everything I built up so far that's all I'm doing and then I'm going to tighten everything up so once I get I got it, on it top. nice and easy I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get this side in first okay I got that started I'm gonna start I'm gonna go to this middle so what I'm doing is actually lining those pegs up into the pre-drill holes. Remember, when you're doing any kind of project by yourself, just take your time. It was, what, 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 would, what would you be rushing for? You know, there's no reason to rush. Just make sure we get it perfect. That's it. And from this angle, you can see when it's flush and it's flush so now you know what we need right we need the rest of these so we need the rest of these so let's go ahead and again everything does have pre-drill holes so like i said i don't know the official name of that piece but I'm, let's say let's just, let's just keep calling it the lock washer so just put those lock washers in a preacher hole and tighten it up so let's see what our our next step is so we're gonna lay this down and just put a little mark across the, the back of it so we can know where the middle is because we're getting ready to put this slide this back on it that's what we're about to do so let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to walk the shelf over just a little. I'm going to get me a little pencil. And the reason, and this is one of the little tricks I like to use on other See, the reason we even mark in the edges of it anyway. The reason we marking those edges so we can see exactly where the center of that center piece of wood is because when we put the back of the bookcase on we actually going to put nails through that to hold the back of the bookcase in place so we got this part as you can see the back is brown front is blue maybe let's see what i can do see if i can Finesse this a little bit. So we slid that in, right? And then we're going to put the all the nails in. So let's pay attention to the X, what they're telling us not to do. I got this long stick and I'm marking it. I'm putting it on that mark on that side and this on this side. Remember those two notches we made on each so edge? Well, I'm going to use those two notches to line this stick up just so I can make a straight line across and so now I know exactly where the wood make sure is. this is not flopping over on that side or not coming over too much on the top. Okay. So now we're just gonna open these up and put these in. I probably won't put all of them in. We just did this part, right? Which I didn't put this many nails in. So on page 12, well, it's actually page 14, but 12 up here, step tw step 12, right? So we're going to lift the shelf, I, the bookcase up, we're going to lift it up, and we're going to put these pieces in because we're setting up to put the shelves in, all right? So let's go ahead and get this lifted up and get started right now. This went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Count to seven. And I'm 
just want to push this in like so. So the reason I'm counting the holes, it, that's because I want to line the shelves up perfectly and I have it the same, well, even on both sides. So we basically put those in and we're on step 13. And now we're basically just going to grab the shelves and put them in there and push them down. Once you put the shelves in, just press it down a little bit and it kind of kind of locks it in place. Now keep in mind you can always rearrange these shelves to your liking after the bookcase is complete. So it don't have to stay this way, but initially building it up, you want to do it the way the book tells you because you need room for when you put that door okay. on. And I'll show you that later. So, let's see what we got next. Now, I wanna put emphasis on the importance of mounting the bookcase. Mount it to the wall before you put the glass doors on. Now, I may show you the video clip toward the end, but I skipped this step and actually put the glass doors on, and when you open a bookcase, it falls forward. It could be very dangerous for kids, also could be dangerous for you. Please mount this bookcase before you put them glass doors on, preferably in two by fours behind the drywall. So after you get the bookcase mounted to the wall, it's time to put the glass doors on it. Now, as you can see, the very first pieces of hardware goes on the two top holes. So let's do okay, that. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys this real quick. This part, I'm going to just basically have to take the shortcut on. But anyway, you see the arrow pointing that way? So it's going to... I'm going to put it on this, the right side first, right? So the arrow is going to be pointing toward us. I'm going to use two of these on the back end of it. And slot... Slot B, Okay. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And I'm going to be putting it on the top holes on the, I don't know if you can see this, probably can't, but the top holes, I don't know, the top holes at the top of the cabinet. And uh, um, let's look at the directions. Like underneath our main shelf, the middle shelf, and then at the very bottom. I swear this makes me want to grab my drill, which I may. But I'm kind of looking at it. Oh, okay, this it's still not called for a drill. I can I can do it. That drill just be tempting though. I ain't gonna even, I ain't even gonna hold it. Okay, so I basically got these in. See, that's on the very top. And the other one over there on the top. So let's go to the next step. So the next step is getting the, let's go get those glass doors and lay them down just like how the, how the uh, book has it. Okay, so let's go do that. Notice the two door, where the door knobs will be at, is they both on the left. Okay. So let's get the door hinges and put those in the door. Basically, we just lay it on there and then put the two screws in it. And we're going to do that. All the way around. Let's... And just like with all the other pieces to this bookcase, there are pre-drill holes, Push so in. just press them in a hole and screw them down. <sighs> then grab two of these and screw it in.
Okay, so our next step is to, well, we did this and we put the door hinges on. So we need to connect the door hinges to the part that we put on the bookcase and slide it back and then we'll tighten it up. Basically, we're gonna put it in on the hook. Get it on that hook and then push it back. I got that. Oh shoot. I got that on the hook and I pushed it back. I'm gonna put this on the hook and push it back. Now I'm gonna put this one on the hook. And I know you can't see this, but I'm gonna try to show you, but putting it on the hook, the door rests on it. Then you slide it back, it kind of locks it in place until you tighten it up. See this? I put it on that nail and pushed it back. But basically you're gonna do that because what I need to do is make some adjustments to this. So I'm gonna loosen this up a little. Enough to be able to move it around. Yeah, like that. See, now it slid right on there. Now it's in place. I can tighten it up the way it needs to be. When you put the door on the bookcase, you're going to have to make some adjustments so the door won't overlap each other so you can get it adjusted to your liking. Once you put this glass door on here, don't... <laughs> Either prop some underneath it so it won't tilt forward. But either way, you def definitely gonna have to put these on like ASAP because watch this. I'm gonna show you this. Let me sit this down. I'm gonna be as careful as I can. I'm gonna open one door. Right. Remember, I told you I skipped the step. Now I'm see, showing you that step I skipped forward. and showing you the results of it. If you open up another door, and this you got to be extra careful because you can get hurt and some kids can get hurt if you don't mount this down right away. Don't wait. Do it when you install this. Watch this. I'm opening up the, the, another door. Watch this. See? See, the weight pushes it down immediately. But if you close one of the doors, like if, even if I close this one, it still want to fall forward. You can see. But that other door... You see what I mean? And please don't be fooled by the way the video is shot in that wide camera angle. This bookcase is way bigger in person than what it looked like on this video. And a lot heavier. Now the last step we're going to do is put the door handles on. So they got these two long nails you're going to basically drill through. It's a pre-drill hole. And then you're going to screw the handles on. That's all. Put that long screw in there, and this for the handle. Okay, so here's the finished project. This is the finished project, and this sort of, this, this is what I was saying about them knobs. Look at the knobs; they're, they're so plain. I, I want to change that out. And then one thing I didn't mention: the bookcase. It comes with this. Uh, let me show you. It comes with these little rubberized pieces. So when you close it, it doesn't uh, slam. Because it is, you know, it's glass. You know, it's got, it has glass doors. You know what I mean? And then you know what was dope? So what I did, I put the light above it. Now, that light can actually change colors, but that's not what this video is about. So... I'm not gonna go into all those little details about that. But uh yeah, this is this is pretty much the finish finished project. Now in real life, this book uh case is uh much taller than what it appears on a video, and I do understand that because the way I shot the video, and then I had horrible light. And it was late, so but I just want to show you guys the the, the uh the finished project and that, that's it that's the finished project let me show you some sneak peek coming soon y'all coming soon i'm gonna show you how i built that all right everybody 
Well, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you in the next one. Peace out.